All right, let's get Peyton in here. Uh, thankfully, we don't have anybody running the marathon today, although this would be perfect weather. It would be. Nice and cool. You were out there last year. I was yeah. in here last year, and we were going back and forth. And I remember we had a lake breeze. We did. And that was, was pretty crucial, the it, temperatures to run our It helped spectators. everybody quite a bit. Yeah. I mean, it cooled things down. It didn't get too crazy windy. But, I mean, if you're putting in work to run a half a marathon or a marathon, I hope uh, the climate is very giving to you that you choose to run that in. And if you choose Northeast Ohio, well, you know, beggars can't be choosers. And unfortunately, uh, we are going to have to deal with a lot of Mother Nature's woes this week. If you don't like rain, it's definitely a big old woe. We are about 5 to 10 degrees warmer still from this time yesterday. So it's definitely felt like spring across Northeast Ohio. And that puts our temperatures in the low to mid 50s. A few of you even stretching closer to 60 degrees. You're three degrees shy in Elyria. Same thing in Dover. 56 in Ashtabula, and we will keep with the mild trend overnight and even into the day tomorrow. Now, there's something happening here regionally that I want to point out, too, because you start to look maybe a little further to the west from us. You see all this shade of blue here. You can obviously tell that there's a little color scheme going on here, too. Mild air denoted and obviously the shades of green you're starting to see on your screen. It's 53 in Chicago, but from St. Louis down to Memphis all the way back to Kansas City. This is rain cool there. So this is where our rain is just ejecting from and making its way into southern Indiana, continuing to approach the Buckeye State too. So we will eventually get rain out of this system back here. It's not here right now and it won't be for at least the next several hours. So let's time it out in your National Zymart hour hour forecast. Early tomorrow morning, I think we have a few showers and this will have an impact potentially on your commute, but in an isolated way. I don't think you have to prepare for anything crazy, but temperatures still right around 40 degrees. So we're not going to even deal with seeing a snowflake out of this mess either. I think we enter a little bit of a lull period and this happens through the middle of the day, early afternoon until we approach late tomorrow night. And then this is really more so the behemoth of rain that starts to arrive because we're not only going to have rain around for your evening Wednesday into Thursday, we're going to have a lot of rain around on Thursday and that's all associated with a lifting warm front. So you're going to notice a southerly wind here temperatures continuing to warm. This is 9 p.m. Wednesday night. Temperatures are close to 50 degrees. We even have some rain and rumbles potentially around here as we go through the day on Thursday. This is Thursday morning. Some of you going to have a very soggy commute, especially south of the Akron Canton area too. And it all continues as we go through time in your Union Home Mortgage extended forecast. 53 tomorrow, 60s and falling on Thursday as a cold front swings on through. We're back in the 40s by Friday and we're closer to 60 yet again. Briefly warming up, briefly cold, however you want to look at it by Saturday, Betsy.